A very good day to everyone present here. I am Ms. Alfina and my co-presenter Ms. Divya would like to present our poster on population prediction using dental radiographs. Let's look into the brief insight of anthropology. It is a scientific study of humanity mainly concerned with human biology, human behavior and societies. Dental anthropology focuses on the development, evolution and variability of teeth and related orofacial structures. Anthropology have numerous applications. They are as follows. Understand humanity better than any other single course of study, gender differentiation of human remains, anthropological identification of skeletal remains and it is also helpful in mass disasters. Let's talk about the application of forensic odontology in anthropology and race differentiation. Forensic odontology plays a very important role in identification in man-made or the natural disasters which cannot be identified through the conventional means as DNA fingerprints. Morphological characteristics of teeth like carabellized stride, shovel-shaped incisors, etc. helps to differentiate races. Racial differentiation is needed for the identification of the victim population, gender differentiation and to identify specific features in mass graves and collection of the anti-mortem records for the investigation purpose. Kodagu is a small district in the southernmost tip of the state of Karnataka bordering Kerala with a distance less than 50 kilometers. The population of Kodagu has large number of migrant population from the state of Kerala. It is a place which is more prone to floods and landslides which results in loss of life and victim identification becomes difficult. The aim of our study is to identify significant features on mandible that differentiate between Kodawa and Kerala population. We have taken 10 panoramic radiographs each of Kerala and Kodagu population between the age of 18 to 25 years. We have excluded the radiographs of patients who have undergone orthodontic treatment who have major pathologies either jaw and debilitating diseases affecting bone etc. We have digitally measured the parameters as follows intercondylar distance, intergonial distance, condylar and coronoid distance, coron condylar notch depth and distance between condyle and coronoid. Image analysis was done by using the gym software. Both linear and angular measurements was done. All results tabulated were subjected to statistical analysis. The statistical analysis showed that the difference between the values of Kodava and Kerala population was high and the difference within the values of Kerala and Kodava population was low. This was statistically highly significant with an F value of 0.000. Intercondylar distance, the distance between the coronoid and the condyle, the depth of the coronoid notch and the gonial angle and the intergonial distance are the effective indicators of the population among the individuals of the Kerala and the Kodawa populations. The drawbacks of our study are Large sample size were not considered, standardizing in taking radiographs, we excluded the migrant population, larger age group were not considered, we included only the age group between 18 to 25 years. Our poster discusses an easy method that will allow for differentiate between the individuals of Kerala and the Kodawa population using dental radiographs. Thank you.